Hi guys, I'm Jervel. I'm Kanya. And today we're going to explore Baggy City's Session Road in Bloom. Hi guys, we're still here. We're, we're with our friend, Shara. She's from Manila and we're going to ask her some questions about this year's Panakbenga. Okay. So Shara, what do you think of this year's Session Road in Blue? Um, there's a lot of shawarma places here. It's really weird. It's more like shawarma in blue. Ah, so, okay. but do, you <laughs> so like, do you like uh, this year's Panakbenga or... Yeah, what's your opinion? This is actually my, um, um, this year's Panagbega is my first time. Your first time? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it was worth it, though it's too crowded. Uh, okay. Do you so, have any experience? Like, yes, what's your favorite part of this year's Session Road in Blue? Um, session year. In Blue? Session Road in Blue. Um, I like the matcha ice cream. Matcha ice cream. Yeah. yeah. And cheaper food? <laughs> I don't know. So the food here is cheap. Cheaper and worth it. Worth the food trip. How about the crowded? The crowd. Um, it's too crowded at 5 p.m. or onwards. But during lunchtime, it was okay lang. Okay lang. Yeah. Okay, so overall, you enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I always eat here. Okay. It's cheap. It's cheap. So, okay. so if you will rate this year's session road in Bloom. One being the lowest and five being the highest. How would you rate it? Um, three point five. Three point five. Okay. So thank you, Shaira. Thank you, Shaira. <laughs> Hi guys, so we're here with our friend Chi. She is from Japan and we will ask her a few questions. Okay Chi, so what do you think about this year's Panakbenga as a tourist? Um, I'm, I'm is this your first time? I know, it's my second time. Ah, okay. So compare. Uh -oh. Your first time and your second time. Uh, this time is better because I have friends in Baguio, so I can tour around here with my friends. Oh, okay. So it's better. Before you... Well, I'm a, you I were was alone. alone. Ah. Ah, okay. But how about the crowd? I don't like that, but it's part of uh, I mean, uh, the, How about the crowd? Is it the same with the... Uh, mm, less, less crowded than... Less, oh, so this year's, crowded. this year's Session Road in Bloom is less crowded. So, G... More, more crowded. Cut you. So, G, if you are going to rate this year's Session Road in Bloom from 1 to 5, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest, how would you rate it? Four. 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 Out of five. Okay. So Split thank you, Chi. Thank you, Chi. Hi guys, so we're here with our friend Ate Jaylin. She is a student from SLU. She is taking up med tech and today we will ask her a few questions. So, what's your opinion Ate about this year's Panagbanga, this festival? So about this year's Panagbanga, um, I, since I I didn't came here, uh, I, I mean I didn't uh, came here last year and I wasn't able to roam around and I'm not originally from Baguio. I think it's just the same and there are different sellers from different towns um, trying to sell their different um, uh, products and then I think it's um, it's fun and you can see or you can observe different cultures from different um, towns. But how about yourself? Uh, this is our first time to oh, hold this. Yeah, this this year. And then, uh, mas kot, siguro I can say na it's um, konti lang yung ano na gdenit. It's like 30, 30 lang. Um, and we were happy na you were you were able to donate. I mean her. <laughs> and then, yeah, then I, I I hope na next year there are more donors who will donate. Uh, We're 
still here. Now we're, we're with our friends, Kuya Enzo. He's studying in SLU and, she, and he's taking math. And we have uh, some questions to ask. Okay, so Kuya Enzo, what do you think of this year's Panagbenga, specifically the session reading point? Okay, so uh, for me... Ah, uh, you're from Baguio, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, as a resident of Baguio, uh, uh, the difference between uh, session in Bloom for the past year, there's a lot of uh, additional stalls, as you can see. Uh, there's additional... So before, it wasn't as crowded. Yeah, but... Uh, What's enjoyable is that there's a lot of new stalls, a lot of new experiences, a lot of uh, new stuff to see here in Baguio City, uh, especially along Session Road. And uh, for, of course, there's another part of Baguio here, except Riga uh, Tigalis. Excluding Session Road, you can hear, you can either hear it or see it. It's along. Uh, it's behind Burnham Park. It's also called the uh, Market Encounter. Yeah, that's recent. That's just a recent project. I think it was opened for around 2017, 2015. That 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 year. So, do you think um, this year's Panagbenga is better than before? Um, in in terms of tourism, yes, it is. But in terms of being a resident of Baguio, no, it's not. Because yeah, yeah, as you can see, you uh, there there are a lot of. Uh, Garbages that are left by those tourists who came here just to watch. And traffic. Yeah, and traffic. Uh, just a word of advice for those who are living down on the provinces. If you are planning to go up on Baguio City, please commute. Don't use your cars. Yeah. Don't use your cars. Yeah. Thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Thank you so much. Panagbenga's aim is to help Baguio City rise up from the 1990 killer earthquake. And Baguio Session Road in Bloom aims to attract tourists and bring the people of Baguio together. Every year, over a million tourists flock to Baguio to experience the cold Baguio weather and of course to take part of the yearly Panagbenga Festival. And this year's Session Road in Bloom has over 500 stalls that offer different products like so many years. Clothing, furniture, with products from Bicol to Nueva Ecija from Cagayan Valley to Marikina Sasha Road in Bloom has got you covered